So this past summer in August, I went to Dubrovnik, Croatia. Uh, went on a road trip actually from Serbia to Bosnia and uh, Croatia and my friend Kathy was with me and she drove <laughs> the whole way because she's just so used to driving over there. So originally we were just going to do Serbia and Bosnia but then we thought hey you know since we're going to go to Mostar Dubrovnik is not that far away so let's make a stop there too. I mean I've always wanted to go to Dubrovnik because you know it's the site of one of the main filming locations of uh, Game of Thrones where they base King's Landing. Um, so, you know, if you're a Game of Thrones fan, uh, it's like a fantastic place to go to see all that. And plus, that region is just so beautiful. It's on the coast of the Adriatic Sea. There's like these historical buildings surrounding it, There's great beaches. I mean, it's just such a beautiful town. So I'm so glad we made this stop in Dubrovnik because I absolutely loved it there. The only thing was I was visiting in August, so it was scorching hot. Um, there was weather advisories before I left because the heat was so intense. So with that in mind, I was like, wow, it's gonna be really hot in August. So I wanted to dress as cool as possible, but also be stylish and chic. So I um, found some great pieces and it worked out great while I was there for 36 hours. Uh, so here's what I wore. So on the first day, I found this top by Express. It's not typically what I usually wear. I don't usually wear printed pieces like this, but I thought it was a great uh, kind of summer vibe, vibe-ish uh, top. It was like a button-up top too, so you can you know, unbutton like two or three buttons up here and still not be too revealing because it's kind of it kind of has a structure to it. So yeah, so it's sleeveless and it's also like kind of have um, like great venting here. So while you're walking around, you know, you have lots of like wind coming, going through. So I didn't feel hot at all while I was walking around with this top on. I just felt like I was always getting a breeze. <laughs> so I thought this top worked out great. And then I wore that with these white jean shorts by KUT. I got these shorts on Amazon. I do like the tear off type of jean style that they have. It's always great to have pockets too. So there's two pockets in the back in two pockets on the side. Um, these are very comfortable, easy to move around in, and perfect for the summer, of course, for those hot summer days in Europe. So yeah, so this is the outfit that I wore um, in the morning and early afternoon while I was doing like the Game of Thrones tour and walking around a bit on our own afterwards, um, getting lunch and dessert. So with that outfit, I wore these sandals. Um, I've actually, taken these sandals with me on several trips now throughout the years. I think it started in uh, Turkey. So I went to Turkey with these sandals. Uh, I like these because they're really lightweight. They have a, you know, a gold color to it. So they go with a lot of your outfits, a lot of your summer outfits. There's cushioning, so it feels very comfortable. It's also easy to slip on, even though it's a buckle sandal, it's very easy to slip on, which I like because I like convenience. I think for me, the top thing about this is that it's lightweight and uh, it matches with basically anything. And I like the cushioning on here. So these are great sandals and very affordable on Amazon. And then for sunglasses this time, I got some uh, affordable sunglasses on Amazon. I wanted kind of like different sunglasses this time to kind of match my different looks. So uh, the first outfit, I wore these retro uh, sunglasses. They're actually pretty cool. I really do like them. <laughs> um, but it's not my, my typical sunglasses that I wear, but I just wanted to, like I said, just be different or just wear something else besides my typical sunglasses that I usually wear. These are very affordable on Amazon. I usually don't get expensive sunglasses because I tend to lose them, misplace them, break them. So it's always, <laughs> For me, advisable for myself to get really kind of like cheaper sunglasses and these were just exactly what I wanted. Uh, so I thought they turned out pretty cool with the outfit that I wore. So throughout Dubrovnik, you'll come across the beach. There's like several beach locations. There's like a little one that we found within Old Town and then there's one in between Old Town and the apartment that we were staying at, which is called, I think, Banja Beach. 
Um, it's absolutely beautiful. It's crowded, but you still have room to swim around and lay out if you wanted to. Since we were staying right by the beach, I was like, oh, definitely need to go swimming in the Adriatic Sea. I've never been to Adriatic Sea before, so it was my first time swimming there, so I was super excited. And I wanted, like, again, like a sleek outfit and or a sleek, sleek swimming suit. I wore this bikini. So this is from Marcella. Marcella has kind of been my go-to lately for sleek looking outfits that are affordable uh, with good quality fabric. This one was really neat because the top, this is the Molly swim top. So you could wear it as like a bandeau top or you can go with like the asymmetrical look and have this portion come across your chest diagonally. So I thought that was a super cool look to go with um, these Molly swim bottoms. So this bottom is high-waisted, which I love uh, because it covers my tummy. I don't really like to show my tummy. I also like that it's full coverage because I don't like the cheeky bikinis. I'm not young anymore, <laughs> so I need to cover myself. Um, I just don't feel comfortable, you know, showing everything. So I need full coverage. Um, so yeah, so these bottoms are very comfortable. I was very happy with it. And this top was great, you know, if you don't, I like the look with the diagonal um, band here, but you know, if you don't want a tan line, you can easily just tuck it in and go with the bandeau look too. So I did like the, vers the versatility of this um, bathing suit a lot. Plus, um, after swimming, I wore my um, skirt. So I kind of like interchanged a lot with my outfits. So in the beginning, I would wear the swimsuit um, top and then like shorts, but then I would also switch to this Raven skirt also by Marcella. But this skirt looks really cool with this bandeau top with the strap. I thought that was the perfect look to go for in Dubrovnik because you could wear your skirt outfit with the bandeau top, walk around the town, and uh, then if you felt like swimming, you can just take the skirt off and jump right into the Adriatic Sea. But to have a little bit more um, covering my top, um, I did wear this underneath, like hiding this uh, the strap, and I wore this off-shoulder top. It has a little bit of ruffle to it, and this I got on Revolve and it matched really well with this raven skirt. And I thought it would look great with like the historic look of Dubrovnik. Also, I wore this for dinner and doing our sunset viewing. So the pictures and video turned out great while I was wearing this outfit. I mean, I really loved this outfit a lot. It's probably like my one of my top favorite outfits. So I did a lot of mixing and matching with this trip. You know, I would wear this top with the skirt. I would also wear the bathing suit with it as well. And sometimes I would wear the white shorts with the bathing suit underneath um, and also wear this top too. So you can mix and match with just like several pieces here. And then for my sunglasses when I went swimming, I wore these cool looking sunglasses. I've always wanted sunglasses like these, so I thought, you know, why not? I'm gonna get a pair on Amazon and um, not you spend too much money on it. So these were great and they're not expensive at all. So they were, um, yeah, they're pretty durable actually. So those are great. Also for shoes, the other sandals that I wore, and this is my other go-to sandal for the summer, is these is solo go-to platform sandals. Now this, you know, has a little bit of height to it. It's like a Velcro strap. It also has traction on the bottom. so you don't slip everywhere. So the difference with like these sandals and this is that obviously that has some height, you know, you still get a little bit of a boost in your height. Um, but also, you know, it has more traction on this, whereas this is a little bit slippery. But yeah, I've worn these Nisolo platform shoes on a lot of trips so far worldwide. Uh, we've worn that me and Candy, we've worn, both worn this in Paris and walked around miles and miles. Also in Japan, I took this to Japan and wore it there. So yeah, it's been with us everywhere. And so far, you know, every year we take this, these sandals with us on our trips because they're so comfortable to walk in. I also like Nisolo because like they always come with like these cute bags where you can store your shoes in. So it's very nice because I always like to put them in bags in my suitcase. 
And then for additional accessories, uh, I always take my bandolier phone case and strap. So bandolier, you know, <laughs> we've done several videos on bandolier, but we, it's been with us for years and years. Um, we can't live without it now, but you can interchange straps. Uh, they have several different types of straps, so sometimes we match our outfits with, you know, a strap and interchange them. Like the first day, you know, I wore this white strap to go with the um, first outfit. And then the rest of the time, most of the time I wear this strap. This one in particular has a lipstick case on it. So I can put my chapstick in here. Um, I can also attach some things on the side. So I usually wear black and black. Bandolier is great because, you know, not only is it attached to you at all times, but you have all your cars that you can put in here too. So you have everything in one. Plus if you carry chapstick or lipstick, you can get a strap like this and put your chapstick in there. Additionally, they have pouches that you could attach to. So you could just attach everything on this strap and not have to carry a purse if you don't want to. Another accessory that I take with me on all of my travels is my Nisolo tote. This has been my go-to tote for all of my travels because I like to carry my DSLR camera in here um, because I have easy access to it. It's made with really great material, so it doesn't hurt at all when I'm carrying this tote all day long. And I, uh, I like it because I have easy access to all my belongings. When I have a backpack, you know, I have to reach around, take it off, and then like go into the bed, unzip, and then take my camera out. Whereas this, I could just go in and easily take, you know, my camera out. I usually put like a protective layer around my camera. I get this on Amazon as well. They have different sizes. Um, but yeah, my DSLR camera is huge. <laughs> so I like that, you know, I could just wrap this up and store it in this tote and just easily take it out whenever I need to. Because when you're traveling and you wanna snap that shot, you wanna hurry up and get your camera. So this is like the perfect solution for me. And it's like a really nice big tote, it's durable, it fits a lot. So yeah, highly recommend the, this tote by Nisolo. And then for my other accessories, uh, my necklaces, I usually wear necklaces by Goriana. I like their necklaces because they're high quality, they're at great prices, and they're easy to layer. They actually do a great job advertising how to layer their pieces. And I need something like that where a store tells me how to style, how to um, layer necklaces, because I had no clue how to do that before. So Goriana kind of taught me how to do it, and I do love their pieces. One of my favorite pieces is the, um, the letter necklace because I always wanted a letter or something symbolizing my name. And this was like the best minimalist uh, necklace that I found that works for my style. So yeah, so that's basically what I wore in Dubrovnik for 36 hours. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna watch more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, bye.